Hello guys, um, today we're doing a little something different. I haven't done a lot of videos on YouTube yet, but I thought um, I'll just discuss this um, really brief um, situation or kind of trade with you guys with um, regards to my trading partner and partner in crime, Jerry Fumboa, who's also tagged named The Trader Next Door on my um, YouTube channel. If you want to check that, check that out on the playlist, do do that. Um, but basically, Jerry's um, going to just break down a little trade um, that he's got on um, Australian dollar um, Swiss franc. And um, basically, just talk about some of the reasons um, behind why he took the trade and and um, basically just his thought, his thought process. And then we can um, take it from there, really. But I thought I'll present this a little bit different format. We've got Jerry on the, um, on the call here. So, Jerry, just say hi, please. Hello, people. Hello, my traders. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, brother. Thank you, mate. <clears throat> yeah, just um, if you just go back to that screen you were on a minute ago, please. If you just um talk about that trade, um, because that seemed quite nice, and then we can just talk about the um the stuff we noticed on the chart a minute ago. It's my screen visible. Yeah, it was a minute ago. Yeah, just move that Skype across. Or does it have to be on that page? No, it doesn't have to be on oh. something. Right. Oh, I see, I see. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to use the book. When you're moving the screen loop, it like it'll follow you to the other browser. Yeah, all uh, right, okay. Yeah, can you see it can you see it now? Yeah, I'm I'm seeing your spreadsheet, bro. What's it doing that then? Just me, go back to the tab, innit? Hold on. So yeah, there. That okay, yeah. yeah. Right. Scalp doesn't have to be. Yeah, there we go. Right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, um so what do you want me to um break down? So basically, um so currently I'm just gonna explain real quickly to the viewers. Um so currently we have a trade on the hourly chart of the Australian dollar Swiss franc and um currently Jerry um has been in this trade uh, if you just point out with your um, uh, uh, joystick, um, sorry, not joystick, your mouse, where where the entry was, it was probably at the start of that um, green bar, the green area we see in the in the um, space there. So um, just kind of break down what made you enter the trade um, specifically. Uh, you don't have to use anything you don't really want to talk about, but just just break down slightly for us from the bigger time frame a little maybe from yeah, the daily so from my thought process yeah. um, when i went into this trade uh, usually when i um analyze a pair i usually uh, start from the monthly break it down to the weekly to just get that holistic view in terms of what price action is doing at that particular moment yep. just to understand what trend i'm potentially going to jump in whether i'm going to be trading on the hourly time frame mm -hmm. um so for this pair anyway um, from the weekly, um, from last week, um, price managed to um, make a whipsaw uh, above a specific, a specific level uh, on, of the weekly range, uh, yeah. ranges that I use uh, for my strategy. Mm -hmm. um, so when price managed to pre exceed uh, that level, uh, it failed to sustain it um, coming Friday when the market closed. So that uh, gave me a few signs um, that there might be some bullish exhaustion mm -hmm. uh, on that on that um on that front so then i went down to the daily um to just get another bit of an overview in terms of what price action has done there mm -hmm. um so we saw um a, a bit of some bearish um bearish engulfing candle uh, engulfing two previous bullish candle that meant, meant that basically was part yeah. of the push just go to the um, daily and show that show that to us real quick so people who are listening to can actually see what you're talking about so you're talking about that bullish engulf, which, oh yeah, the bullish engulfing candle there. Right. Let me just yeah. remove these so they don't confuse people. Yeah, so, sure. um, da, 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 so let, let me just go on the week, actually, just to give you an example of what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So this level here, so price exceeded that, as you could see, quite significantly, but did not sustain the level. Um, obviously, it was two pips above my range, but... Yeah. 
Um, that's for me, it's not enough. It's only two pips. Yeah. I would like to see ideally five to ten pips to give me confirmation that price will proceed on, on the next week and keep going upwards. Yeah. Uh, um, so on this scenario, so what I've done, I went down on the daily. Um, and obviously, I saw this massive b- b- bearish engulfing yeah. exceeding these two, um, actually three previous candles. That was uh, part of the push to the upside, right? And, and so this this candle here kind of uh, kind of gave you the um the extra the first indication that there was some um, some bearish move to to be to be um waiting for. And even if if you have a look at the last uh, three previous bullish candles, you can see even this this bullish candle yeah. price pushed up, pushed up, yeah, pushed so back not, down, yeah, not very strong. Obviously, the second one is fairly strong, but the third one yeah. gives another, another indication that the, but the buy-in, buy-in pressure is slowing down. Yeah. And obviously, with this bearish candle, gives us all, all, all uh, a nice confirmation yeah. that um, the sellers are jumping into the market, mm-hmm. um, potentially going to push price to either uh, proceed to uh, make a high low, mm-hmm. uh, which we haven't seen for quite a while, as you can see. Yeah. You know? So, um, yeah. So then I would go down to now the four hourly to give me a better overview in terms of what price is doing. Um, so this this down move here is part of that daily candle. Yeah. Uh, that's what that daily, so, the daily engulfing re- um, bearish candle, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so after this push, we can see price broke structure because these these levels here is the last lows that push price into oh, this level. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. And then, as as we saw, price then managed to make make a significant push to the downside. Yeah. And then, um, for me, um, because I I trade supply and demand. Mm-hmm. Um. So the last, this is the last bearish is bullish. Yeah. Candle. So that was the your logical point of entry, basically. Another point of um, yeah, for supply zone. Yeah. So I would. If price managed to exceed and make a pullback into this area, mm-hmm. this is where I'll be looking to make a trade. Um, so what happened? Uh, actually, initially. Um, so that would have been. Here, were you not on the market when that initial push came? So when that initial push came, this was. I think this was even Friday or Thursday. And right. I was actually trading the other couple of pairs. Right. Um, okay. So I, I actually managed to miss this. Plus, but I plus, this, I'm sure you've mentioned to me you don't necessarily hold trades over the weekend. Is that right? It, Exactly, yeah, because okay. obviously we don't have one to have the rollover charges as well. Right, uh, okay. It, it depends what kind of trader you are. If you're yeah. a day trader, then you probably hold it over the week. If you're a day trader like myself, uh, I do sometimes swings, but um, this, uh, depending on the, um, on, on, um, the pairs and obviously the risk reward I'm looking for yeah. uh, at that particular moment. So it all depends, but my preference is uh, intraday, right. uh, day trading. Okay. All right. So um so you managed to get into the trade and it looks like you've got some a quite decent risk reward there. What's what are we looking at there? Is that five to one? That looks like a so four to uh, one. Four point four. Four point four to one. Four four right. Yeah. yeah. So that's quite a huge. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's quite a good um, risk reward. And as you can see, um from that um hourly sorry, four hourly candle, you can see prices pushing ahead and Yeah, so you're look you're looking to get to that but um that previous low basically right yeah, and that's exactly, your exit yeah, point yeah. so I'm, I'm expecting price to break that low Obviously, to break my, the low my, my initial target is literally on the low because oh, you've got um, a t2 for this have you sorry have you got a take take tra- t- oh, no, um no, t2 no. or just a t1 no, I, no, I just have a t1 right um, okay um so like i mentioned a minute ago prior to this uh can you just give me a little bit of an explanation as to um, what we noticed earlier with regards to this bullish engulfing and how I I, I kind of have pointed out that this could a- appear to, to some traders as some sort of trick. If you were kind of a pattern trader and solely a pattern trader, then what you'd be looking at here is a bullish engulfing uh, flag pattern. Sorry, a bullish uh, flag pattern uh, to the upside. And obviously, uh, for, uh, as a novice trader, then you might potentially be trading that breakout. You see the breakout from the bullish engulfing. Can you put your mouse on that, please? Sorry, from the bullish um, uh, flag. Yeah. So that engulfing candle there. Yes, it could potentially have been a trade, um, but it would have been a trade for traders who are wise enough to know where their TP would have been for that trade. Um, and realistically, a lot of traders wouldn't have pushed for uh, extended profits because uh, they would have probably realized that there's a supply zone just above that. And um, like you said, uh, was a potential um, a spot to, to be a seller at that point, really. Yeah. <clears throat> so 
So what I can do anyway, I can expand on this as to why uh, what I thought, and then from my initial, from my uh, entry. Um, so as you can see, I've drawn now. It's a small little channel. So let me go down on the hourly to give you a better overview. Mm -hmm. So this this pattern here is something that I've seen. Um, many times during my time in the financial markets mm -hmm. and what we tend to think this is a flag pattern or we can call it a, descend, a descending channel mm -hmm. and basically what this indication is is to give us um as a confirmation that price will after consolidating um uh, push pushing price pushing price lower right. it would then expand to the upside and break that that break that channel yeah and then continue to go further so yeah. this is a trick that we're taught um you can see you know if you're a new trader you probably look at baby pips and this is how they probably explain in terms of how a descending channel or a flag pattern um yeah. how you will trade it yeah. yeah um so yeah it's basically one of the oldest trick of the book um and one of the things that uh, retail traders use today so it's very easy to get caught out on this if you don't have a, a pr an approach where you look uh, into your currency pair in a holistic view meaning you go down on the monthly down to the weekly to the daily mm. to get have a, a holistic view of what price action is doing mm. um looking you, at this this looking at this one hour flag pattern you would think price is going to shoot up to the sky mm. you know? mm -hmm. and as as I, like i said i have experience and i've seen this pattern before and because uh, of all of the factors that happen on the other time frames uh, told me that this uh, flag pattern will not exceed very far and um, so i decided to actually take the trade slightly when price broke in that channel mm. um, and a lot of traders novice traders would have actually take, taken that buy trade mm. at, at my sell entry at your sell yeah. entry yeah 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent. no i think so, I, I probably remember doing that once at some point um previously so yeah i do understand where you're coming from on that point i've done that countless times before uh on my beginning days of trading i remember i've done so um to cable actually like, yeah. I think like a half ago yeah literally saw the same pattern but this was on a four hourly chart price um was going in the same pattern flag pattern descending channel broke above i just took took a few buys I was like, I was licking my lips. I was like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to get a few pips. Yeah. And then uh, I, I got, yeah, I went back to work, had a little uh, had a little break, then come back. And I just saw uh, my account in major minus. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah. you know, and I, I, obviously ever since that moment, I just, I realized that, you know, it takes a lot of patterns, uh, chart, all, all the chart patterns that we're taught, mm. you know, they give us an, an indication, but you have to use, other factors yeah. you know, as to why you enter them. Yeah, they, so they've, you... they become very powerful when you have something else in conjunction to what, what's going on, really. If you can kind of plan with with something else as well, then it kind of makes for a recipe for a good meal kind of thing. Exactly. exactly. Mm. So don't, I would say, yeah, so I'm not going to say don't or do this, but in my opinion, in terms of what I've learned and what I would do, um, like I said, use the holistic view. And then obviously if the chart pattern uh, aligns with what you found out from all of the previous analysis you've done mm. then obviously that is just an extra confirmation on top so it's like just a cherry on the cake um but so yeah in this instance i knew this was a false um false breakout and so that's why i took that cell entry mm. that's brilliant man you're almost um 50 percent to tp uh, which isn't yeah. bad you might um uh, it looks like you might find some struggles on that um if you scroll back to where you was a minute ago yeah. so around that 50 percent mark it looks like there might be some a little bit of um a resistance there sorry or support um yeah. you know do you know what i'm pointing at can you just put that on your use your mouse yeah around, around here. just around a bit here. lower a little bit lower there around yeah. there it's around this level yeah but, hey. um to be honest, you know, we've made this analysis, we've said what we think, and obviously I've taken my entry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before you know, it could, you know, just go to this, you know, and just reverse on that level that we are now, and then yeah. go up to the sky. To the sky, yeah, 100%, and yeah. Forex is a, uh, Forex um, financial market is a probability game. Yeah. And for, you, and, and for you as a trader, it's for you to just analyze, make sure you apply the right risk management, and, you know, and then try to just go into the trade without no fear. Yeah. And just, just trust your strategy. And then that's it. And obviously, if it if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, then you just journal it, and then you move forward, and then you know you start for the next day. Yeah, it's a good point, man. Good yeah. point.
a lot of traders seem to think um, it's it's all um, all or nothing a lot of the time um, without realizing there's a lot that goes into actually planning to survive for the next day. Exactly. You you will see you see, you will see countless setups. You know, sometimes we rush and we like we see a nice setup, so we you know we put everything into it. We put our whole account, fifty yeah. percent <laughs> of our personal account, into that trade because we're so sure that it will go our way. Mm. You know, and then when things start looking rocky, you know, that's when palms are sweating. You know, mm. how grey hair start forming. We didn't even know we had. You know, so no. <laughs> just take take it easy. You know, be calm. You know, trades come day every day after day after day after day. So, hundred yeah. <clears> percent. <throat> well, Jerry, I really appreciate um, you uh, explaining that trade to us um, and just um, clearing out some of those um, uh, issues that some traders might find with with regards to double confirmation with stuff or having maybe four or five different things screaming at you on the screen at the same time. Um, and just realizing that if you have a, a plan, kind of stick to it, and that usually it pays off in the long run. Um, but yeah, thanks for sharing that trade with us. Uh, for those, yeah, for those of you who don't know, Jerry is a, 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 a up and coming trader in the in the industry, who's um, learnt on his own and and um, kind of starting to pave his way in the industry. Really, um, I'll, be there, baby. <laughs> I'll be um, I'll be hoping to do an interview with Jerry at some point where we, I'll be looking to ask him some questions regarding his career um, where he started from and how, how he, he got so far into into where he's at and um, what his goals are for the for the coming years so hopefully we'll be we'll be dropping some some uh, podcast or, or, or video episodes regarding that on the um, on the channel so do look out for that if you have um, any comments or any kind of feedback regarding this then do let us know and if you um, have any questions that you want me to put forward to Jerry and um, you can also let me know Jerry's someone who's um, kind of like any anyone else um, who, who's just started from nowhere and wants to get somewhere so if you if you're that kind of person and you you have um, the goals of becoming a trader one day then someone like Jerry would be a, a good start for, for you guys to kind of um, emulate and stuff so do leave your comments and let me know what you think regarding the video we've done today and uh, let me know your thoughts if you're looking at the same currency pair or any other pairs in your mind that you might be looking at thank you for joining me and god bless bye for now